Well, hey guys and gals, welcome to another project. Here we have Space Explorer Rover and Alien Life by Lego City. This is set number 60431, contains 311 bricks, retails for $34.99, and this set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And that is what we're going to be building today, along with this. So, as you can tell, looks like we have four bags. This is not an even split build. And this thing just jumps right on into bag one. Now, in addition to that, I already have bag one here keyed up. And I'll set that off to the side. We've got a windscreen that's in pretty good shape. Just a few dings, but I didn't do that. And it comes with some of these tires. And these are not rubber like they look like on the box. So... Very hard plastic indeed. I thought they were rubber. And so, let's begin with bag one. <laughs> and let's get building here. Let's build it. I'm trying to keep things from flying off the counter here. And what's everybody been up to? And it's a it's a bedside build tonight. So we're going to see if we can get this one done and reviewed. And I got another set I want to um, finish up real quick. So I played that new Lego Fortnite game thing. And uh, I don't know. I'm hoping it's just something like open-ended where I can just play in my world and stuff like that. I was playing it early and it's not too bad. It said that the server needs to reset or restart. I don't know if it means refresh or does it reset my world. So I was playing and I thought this is not too bad. But if it resets and restarts my world, yeah, I don't know. I read your comments, Snowy, about the skate tapes. And we'll see. Maybe when this channel gets 100 million subscribers, I may do it. Yeah, and my favorite tricks, I don't know, I can't remember. She used to do kick the board up, go skateboarding and do a, a, what they would call those things. Uh, ones where you take the board and go down the rail and not try not to fall, but I didn't really do them that successfully. Alright, so we're not done with her yet. So yeah... I got a bunch of these space sets I got to get done. And I was really hoping that these would be something other than space. Matter of fact, most of the sets that I've received so far are space related. Yeah, white camera. I don't think I have any white cameras. And then she just hangs on to it. She's probably the space photographer. We don't know which, who she is. So there you go. Making sure that that thing is focused. All right, so she's done. Now we're not done yet. We've got to do some alien lives. I was like, why don't those go on there? But no, we gotta stick these on here first. Well, kind of pooped on doing Lego sets. It's like it's a marathon, you know. I'm kind of just doing nothing but build after build after. There's no break. It's kind of brutal. But I looked, and I don't think I'm getting anything in the mail right now, which is cool. Well, good for me. And there's the two alien guys. And let's build something big. But book one is just book one is just this right here. So it's it's all accessories, nothing more. So. If you're building this with a partner, I'm sure this will be a multi-build. multi, multi -build. I think the next set I'm going to do is going to be a multi-build, multi-person build 
thing. And just to see you know, how far I can get these done. Like I mentioned, this was a set that I just was kind of like, you know, I really don't need s space. And I thought, well, just ignoring the email would help. But no, it did It did not. And i got to make two of those. I know there's a lot of people who like the space, so this may be of, of help to you. And so far, the builds on these have not been bad at all. Just not interested in the theme, though, but I'm still giving them a fair evaluation. I like completeness. Is there any drafty holes? There we go. And we're not done yet. We gotta put a battery on it now. One of these opaque purple things and a tile that I can't pick up. Something like that. Let's put the battery thing up. Some kind of Land Rover thing with the camera on it. All right, that's done. Next one, please. <laughs> I mean, I've mentioned this in several videos. I know some people get tired of it, but it's like giving an artist a set of paints and canvas and say, here, paint me a landscape of, of a snowy mountain with a bunch of trees on the bottom of it. And a nice little creek, and next thing you know, the dictator is telling you where to put the paintbrush at and how to do it. Unless you're copying a piece of work. I don't know, I, don't, I really don't have much to say, that's why I'm just kind of talking. <laughs> Well, at least we're getting some, some must be some kind of little water fountain or something, maybe some kind of liquid. We, we don't know what's in that. Yeah, I'll have to report my findings more on Fortnite. I guess I can play Lego Fortnite on here because um, this is not a, a gaming channel, but it is Lego related. Just give it a whirl just to see. And yes, I will fell a lot, and that's to be expected. And that's the fun part, is to fail at a game. To learn as you go. I found a bunch of abandoned buildings in that game, though. But if it's anything where you can save your world and invite friends and host a server, yeah, I'm afraid this is going to put Minecraft up for its money, but not too much, because Minecraft, you can freehand build all your stuff. This thing, I don't know. I don't know if I can import my own models. I don't know if we can build with just basic bricks. I... I have no clue what we're doing. Okay. Now, knocked over the alien. <laughs> A little fake rubber tires and that's it oh the aliens go inside the the jacuzzi the, the spa they just sit on right inside these things in here so that's essentially what that is and yeah it's even got the stars and this is what we have remaining for bag one all right, we're going to move on to bag two and start getting that done. And 
I don't know if I'll even f open up another set. Yeah, there goes those flimsy tires. I have the other bags over there in the containers. Oh, great, another minifigure. <laughs> you don't sound too excited, Jay. Yeah, I'm a little tired, and too. How, how many more, you know, how many more Lego space sets can I do? The set that I'm going to do after this is something completely different. Because honestly, I'm tired of looking at the same color all the time. It's like I mentioned in several video clips, you know, you, you get these marathons. He's got a single-sided head. You do these marathons and you just, they get dry after a while. It's like, it's like I said, if I did one of my own mocks and just kept building the same style of builds, it just, it would just get kind of dry and boring. There we go. I may have to do this as a poll. Does anybody want me to do the Fortnite? Oh, I'm at home. We got one more accessory here. The Lego Fortnite. If, I may just do that when I get done with this and see what everybody wants to do. If so, I'll just, uh, once I play it a few times, we will see on you know how we can do it here or just play it on twitch or something all right so it looks like this just goes right up to his eyes there like some kind of a binoculars okay well we're done with him <laughs> and this time I got the light over here ready to go For 311 bricks, we'll see how long this takes. Yep, sand blue uh, ingot tiles. Use these for my school bus or RVs. There goes that light again. And this weird cargo hatch door. Oh, it snaps on there. There we go. Well, that's kind of ugly. Okay, and I see two holders there. Is there something there? Let me look. I think it just hangs over. Like that. Because that piece there, hold on. Oh, silly me, there's supposed to be a 1x3 that goes in there. Okay, maybe it's the late nights again. <laughs> now it looks better. It's like, how's that even going to stay in there or stay sturdy? I mean, it's only held in with two studs. It wouldn't be enough. You wouldn't be able to put that in there. Oh, I'm trying not to... 
yawn in everybody's ear. You know, why do I try to get these done in a hurry so I can do my own stuff, to be honest? Like I said, when I, when I accept an offer, I have no clue what theme it is. It'll just say Lego Creator, Lego uh, Friends, and that's all, that's all I know. And until I get the set here at the house, I have no clue. It could be just stuff that I'm chomping to bits to build. And it could be a theme where I'm kind of like, yeah. Lego Creator's kind of slowly dying off. And then, except for Lego Creator Expert. Then they have stuff like this. It's supposed to be Lego City. Let's call it Space or something, you know. I would have happily just I would have happily just not do these. <laughs> they snuck one in on me. There we go. Must be the controls for the uh, for the cockpit or the the cab. All right. You know, the bags are not too bad. There's only four, so I think there's probably there's 300 pieces. So probably probably under 100 pieces, obviously. It probably takes more time to thumb through the building guide than it would be to do anything else. <laughs> Yeah, let's put the round ones over here. Okay, they're angular plates. Just take a couple of downwards, and that's where they go. Okay. Yep. Just kind of quiet today and just want to build. Maybe if you guys like these style of builds, I'll probably just kind of keep quiet and just film. And besides, nothing really exciting happened either today, so nothing worth really mentioning. Put a Technic pin in there. Yeah, chassis are always hard to build. Even when I write up my own building guides, they still take a lot of time. Oh, they go right here. I don't think there's wheels that go on those. Not enough clearance for those little tires. Okay. But if everybody prefers the mostly silent videos, the full silent videos, I'll do that. Alrighty. Okay. 
remedy. Of course, I may wake up after I brush my teeth. I haven't done that yet, but um, I did all the other things. Uh-oh, is there something? Oh, no, wait, what? Okay, I thought, was well, there something that's supposed to go right there? No, this is just meant to hang over. I wonder why. I think they'd have had that filled in with something. Okay. They tell you to shove this one in here, bend this, and shove it in. So you got to do that. And then... like that and push them down, I guess, because you can't do that. And in order to keep them in, you use some angular plates. It's not a bad idea. Okay. Stick it on this plate first. That's where the that's how they recommend it. Another cool day today. They keep saying it's going to be warm, and everybody out here is like, "Yes, it's going to get warm again." I'm thinking, guys, you know, why do you want it so hot for? Oh, I don't like being cold. Well, I do. <laughs> You're cold, it keeps you awake, and you can go do things. You don't fall asleep through it. And that's it for bag two, and we survived so far. All right, let's move on to three. Saving the brush and the teeth between filming this and the review. Why? Because it'll wake me up for a little while. <laughs> What I'm thinking of doing with this, I'm going to get done with building this and then I'm going to tack the review on at the end. And essentially, that's going to be the way I'm going to start doing them now. Reason being is, it'll save a bunch of time from film an extra clips so it's yeah it's instead of trying to film two separate reviews and taking notes want to just get it done and just move on you know what i mean so yeah Alrighty, so we got to find that transparent thing with the printing on it of the screen with the, the target. Like that. That must be the cockpit. Looks like we can sit too many figures. Looks like you can possibly sit mini dolls in there too. It'd be kind of cool if Lego made these for you both. Would be nice. I know some of my fans have said, Jay, you should make your your stuff where mini dolls can fit in it too. And I never thought about it like that. I may have to do that. Yeah, back to that Lego Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing any multiplayer. I'm just doing single player right now. Just kind of getting a feel of the game. And what I heard is a lot of people are playing it. They're not playing it to kill each other. They're just playing it to to kind of to kind of go through the worlds to find things. I mean, I found a couple of abandoned places, but like I said, if it lets me save my work 
and I can come back where I left off, you know, whenever, like in Minecraft, then we are ready to go. And then I'll just play that a little bit more. If it resets, then it's, it is what it is. Whoops. Yeah, it'll be fine. Do that then, huh? Okay. This is supposed to lean up against this when we're done. Push it up against there now. It's like the dashboard for it. Yeah, they actually do tell you to tilt it. They don't tell you in the manual, but you can see it leans up against it. notice uh, more and more people are not watching the unboxings I may end up rubbing those out like when I unbox the set and we look through the parts and just basically talk about we just unbox we just open it up dump the contents out on the table and then move over to the, the uh, review or the tour and then the review yeah, it'll speed everything up. This set here has got a separate unboxing. So, you know, if you're watching these and you notice they suddenly disappear, you know why. <laughs> I, you know, if no one's interested, there's no, no, there's no need to film stuff. It's just wasting my valuable time at that point. You know, despite the box being big with this set, if you've seen... Oh, that doesn't go that way. Despite the box being pretty big with this set, it's uh, going pretty quick. This color is really making me yawn. It's just bland. I was expecting this. The next one I'm going to do is going to have a lot of bright colors. A different theme, though, too. I think uh, Lego City is starting to go. Taking a dump. I mean, is it keeping my interest? Yeah, so so could be because I'm fatigued out, I'm a little tired, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. the rear window. And we need a black ingot. Two black ingots. Right there. I can always use those. Oh, that's a very universal part. I wish I did make a one by two version of that. It would be very helpful. We're already like 65% done with it. Well, 55% done with this book.
Yeah, I was tempted to put it down there. All right, sorry about that. The memory card filled up. So I had to clear off some more space and yeah, well, I'm back. And he didn't miss anything because I was right next to her and heard the thing ding off and stopped the video. That was when the camera's kind of getting sick of doing the, uh, the space sets. And I'm trying my best to keep up with the recordings, but the thing is, you get so many of these. It's just a lot of stuff to film. I mean, we're talking a lot of stuff. Must be something that attaches. Maybe it's those fuel cells. Remember, we've been messing with those in the last couple of builds. And we're just building one of these. I thought we were building two. And you get a couple of these, too. It's like, no, I want to hurry up and get it done. <laughs> How dare you cut me off. I've got to put the uh, other pins in there. I was wondering what we're using the bevel gears for. Maybe we're going to use it for... Well, no, they're facing inwards. You wouldn't be able to use them for anything. Maybe it's just for decoration. I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to have to really step up my game and start cleaning off the camera. How do I do it? I just, I'll just i edit a bunch of videos and get it done. Because I don't delete anything until I edit something in case something gets bad on the computer or something like that. Hmm. I don't know what that's for. Maybe it's for the suspension. Who knows? Yeah, I gotta get off my buns and finish up my Christmas shopping here. I'll have plenty of time next week to do it. Well, when I get the car back together, plenty of time. Cutting it short. I saw a clip on the news about the gift card scam thing, so... I go in there, always take a look, and if it looks like they've been tampered with or rubbed off, I just put them back on the rack. One time I let an employee know, and they kind of looked at me funny and threw them back on the rack. I thought, well, I guess that's, I guess there's no need to mention that to you. And that was the end of that. Some businesses, and it was at a major chain grocery store, too. And I thought, well, they don't really care about their customers, and why should I? <laughs> okay, so this... Uh, from what I'm gathering, it sits right on top with this plate in the middle here. So this is probably to use it to go like that. Still got a few pieces left here. We must have got something 
And they have these. These just go right inside of there. Stick your nails in. Where does the white tiles go now? Still got a few pieces here. Well, at least one thing, this set does not come with a... Uh, it doesn't come with the bricks every, but it also doesn't come with stickers too, which is really nice. Come on, I just want to see a top view. It's, it's all upside down, which is useless to me. Okay, where do those one by two tiles go? Oh, I see where they go. Right here. We have one extra one by one, but. I'll look at it and check my work here to be sure. Make sure there's no gaps or anything. It looks pretty good. And this is what we have remaining here for bag three. And sometimes Lego's been known to throw a few extra parts in there. All right, let's move on to bag four. And get this one out of the way. And this one's got some interesting parts in here. You can obviously tell. We get the steering wheels and these little shock absorbers. Pretty cool. I think those probably go on the front tires. So it looks like we're working on the back part here. Leave it upside down still. Also comes with these. I always use these for making small or medium sized aircrafts. Yeah, so this set here is not overwhelmingly hard. All right, space logo. It just sits under. There's nothing under there. And this part goes in here. Alright, so that's not too bad. You just use the little handle here to open it up. Okay, it's not a not really that stable, is it? Okay, now we gotta make a a battery sail. Yeah, I got this week's videos all done. Well, when you're watching this, they are. This is actually going to be close to the end of the year, maybe next year, I don't know. It shows that this goes right here. Well, these adult hands can fit in that. Hey, I'm looking for a joust. That thing. And... This... And this. And... Makes a good radio antenna. Pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say the build is for this one. The build quality seems pretty good. Um, my retention is just when you do enough of these, they start getting kind of boring. So I'm going to say that the retention on this one here is kind of average. I'm hoping to get to the next set here tonight so I can look at something that's got a bit more color to it. Uh, black and white and orange. Is, at least the orange pops out, but the rest of it's just kind of dull and boring. And this goes on the top right here. I'm just going to open up 
this door here and just do that. Well, they tell you to open it up anyways, then close it. Probably for those accessories in there. I don't think I need to do a close-up tour on this. I hope I don't. I just want to get her done. You know, talk about my findings. Don't forget that in the middle. They didn't even mention it in the book here. You have to look very closely here. Uh-oh, memory card issue. Let me finish this up and clean more off. Hold up. All right, where was I? I had to get a whole brand new memory card. Uh, well, it has stuff on it, but I was like, you're kidding me, right? You know, can I even get this done? I swear, even the camera's getting bored of this set. It's like, hey, just get this done and be finished with it already, Jay. I'm trying, Mr. Camcorder. I'm trying my hardest. It's just not a... Oh, wait a minute. I put that on and there's no brick separator. Sets like this, you know, they know kids are going to make mistakes. At least things are printed, so I can't really knock the set down too much. And... But still, I, I swear that I never had it happen. Usually I'll clean off the camera, but this time, I mean, just... I need to get off and start editing a lot of these reviews. Okay, this goes here. So this does come off. How easy does that come off? Well, I think you're supposed to pull that. So you can actually pull that okay. So it goes like that. I don't know, this thing's kinda kinda fruity here. <laughs> just I kinda sound just tired and out of it tonight. It's kind of just today was a lazy day for me and I didn't really do a whole lot of anything and today was one of those things that I just like, oh I don't want to get out of bed. I did some of these reviews things, but I'm like, yeah. And just kind of out of it. And it doesn't hinge, it just sits in there. It attaches right here. So you actually have to grab right here to pull it out. And let's put these Lego that are not hinged. They'd be kind of cool. We had one that was hinged, which is real nice. All right, now we got to put the little the shock absorbers on here now. That's what those are for. So now that these will spring up and down, these are kind of cool. We don't have a lot left. It's what's taken forever though is messing with the camera's memory card. <laughs> it was something I'd never figured that would just start happening like that, but it did. All right, now we got to mess with the the fake tires. Stick those in there, and you got to make six of them. We'll just do one at a time. Maybe easier just to hold it in and just. There we go. That's one. I mean, I thought these were real rubber. They made this seem like it was something that it's not, and. Yeah, this is just hard plastic tires. But sometimes Lego has those ones that look like they're air. They go like that. Well, see, this is already starting to fall apart. So I'm going to have to ding a little bit off the score there. Probably like a 9.5. Alright. I 
think I may have only did one of these. It was a 10, I can't remember. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna incline just to work on this now. And just do the tires as I go. Okay, and is that what it looks like on the box? Yeah, I mean, they made this look like something that it's not. I mean, it looks cool, but, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know. Honestly, this thing's kind of, kind of goofy. See, the tires want to keep falling off. I mean, it looked really cool on the box, and I saw it, and yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You try to push these on, or the little gears want to fall off. Well, these were almost done. <laughs> Then I can go ahead and do the review on it tonight, just real quick. This is going to be something I'm just going to do on a turn. I, I don't. I don't even think I need a turntable for this one. It's, it is what it is. I need to do a close-up shot. You could see how big this is. I, I'm going to bring the camera closer to it, so I don't think I need to. There's not a whole lot to see in there. You know, on it. Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? But I'm gonna, yeah, but honestly, this is, you know, I could sh I can see a kid putting this together. But for an adult, it's, uh, this is rather dry. It's starting, to, it's just starting to kind of wear me down. <laughs> yeah. I looked at the box and I was like, I don't know about this one, but yeah, this Looks like almost like an, an RC car. That's what it kind of looks like here. I better be careful. Yeah, I thought Lego City would be better than this. I mean, oh. I'm going to get these new Lego City sets. Cool, we're going to build some new stuff. I mean, space is new, but when it's a... Th I thought I was going to get away without touching space. Yeah, I have a bunch of these that I have to do. So, hopefully this is one of those exceptions where they're not... I mean, I did one of them that was really good to put together. But this one here is... I'm going to just... I don't know, it just seems kind of futuristic, too futuristic for me. All right, well, anyways, let's get that all done here. We're still missing one of those battery packs, because there's the parts for one there. Hmm. I mean, there's not a whole lot holding these wheels in. There we go. Well, there seem like this sticks out more than mine does. But yeah, the last battery pack. When we did this one over there, why don't we just did this one on this side at the same time? It's like they forgot to put it in there. Like, oh, we better sneak that in there real quick so the kids won't notice. I noticed it. <laughs> Stick that in there real quick. And yeah, so it's a. Uh, sure, it have better traction because it literally just slides. This is all the plastic wheels. And they show you can put your minifigure in like that. And shows that it's done. You can put the stuff around it. All right. 
And that finishes up that bag with no pieces remaining. So I'm going to take a look here real quick. And I'm sure this accessory stuff, this is probably the only thing that doesn't go in there. This probably goes in the back. So just pull this down and just push this in, put this in there. Well, there's not a whole lot of space in there. Can I pop that off? And just... Okay, I think it's meant to mount right on that there. So you can probably see it in there. No, it's not supposed to mount on that. Or maybe it's supposed to be the battery and goes like that. Like that right there. So we'll leave that out. Because we're going to do that with the review, or with the tour and the review. And it can seat too many figures. And just running through it real quick here so I don't feel like a fool. And of course, you can seat your figures in. you got to pop both of these out. I'm just testing it real quick. So yeah, you can just set them in there. You don't need to remove off the gear. And that's what it is. So they'll both fit in there. They have accessories. You can take the accessories off their hands. That's up to you if you choose to do so. Well now, let me set everything up. We just got done with our... So this is just going to be set up and test or whatever. And then we're going to set this up for our thumbnail. And I could do this on the turntable, but I already got something on it. And Honestly, this thing here is just kind of one of those builds. And you can see that I can move the camera closer to this, which I'm going to incline to do here. What I'm going to do, though, first is I'm going to unplug that. Because the next set I want to unbox real quick is, is an easy one. It's a lot of parts, but I think it's easy. All right. And we'll just do it like this. I do the, the initial thumbnail. Let's see here. Well, I think the height of this is just, or the, I think the closeness of it is just fine. That's actually straight, but there we go. Does it really matter? Yeah, I'm going to go OCD on that. Let me, let me get this thing lined up here with the horizon real quick. So Jay, you seem like you're kind of bored of doing city sets. Uh, it's just these are getting kind of on my nerves. <laughs> when you're doing one theme over and over and over again, it's just a lot. And we have the alien things that like to fall out. So am I going to just do a complete... Uh, I can just use the turntable to go through it, huh? But then again... That will suffice. So I'm just going to set it up here. I'm going to just do my thumbnail real quick. On my end, there's a bunch of space in between here. Something like that. Just back this thing away a little bit. Then we have this thing here, and that's what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take a good picture of this real quick for the thumbnail, then we're going to come back and do the actual uh, finalized review on it, and yeah, we'll go from there. Off the left we have the Space Explorer rover, and on the right we have a little scene here with aliens and our figures. We'll take a look at our figures first. That's essentially what they are. They do sit inside the craft, or the transporter, depends on how you look at it. They both have single-sided heads, nice print work for the torsos. Looks like this one's got binoculars, the other one's got a white camera. We got this little land camera thing, little drone or something, the battery thing on the back. And it's a nice little accessory piece. 
and we'll move that out of the way. Let's put the aliens in the spotlight because they like to fall out everywhere. And that's essentially what they are. And they like mini figureheads and some little glob things. Kind of cool. Take those out. That's what it looks like inside. Just a little scene, you know, just to have fun with it. It's, it's a nice, colorful accessory. That's pretty much where it ends there. Now we're going to take a look at the Explorer Rover. And for the most part, it's a very interesting vehicle. I don't know. It's just, I'll save my opinions for the reviews, but it's the wheels are kind of wobbly and they got the suspension so it does this <laughs> it's like a more of like an, an RC car than anything here's the rear this does open up it's meant for our little Roy to go in there and yeah here's the top of it these things do come off so just pop the top of the cockpit off and we can take a look inside here oh this one comes off too <laughs> this is printed that's really cool and it does seat up to two minifigures I don't think the aliens are included they're not for the ride this piece here is printed and stuff like that and we're gonna seat our figures inside now they have accessories so you can remove the accessories. I'm just going to go ahead and remove them. And don't worry, I already took the thumbnail, so I won't have to worry about that. And we'll set him as the pilot. And they just sit right on those jumper plates. But see, they're kind of wiggly in there. They don't sit in very well. This one's got the camera. We'll pry that out of his little paw. Set him in there, too. So they use these same plates that they use for mini dolls. And I'm sure that many dolls would fit in this just fine. And that's how they look inside the craft. Now, I'm going to put all this stuff back on here. Well, before we do, we're going to put the droid in the back. So you can simulate the door opening up here, drive it in here, and set it in like that. And then close all this up. Put that on there. So far, so good. Nothing has um, bind it up or fall off. Well, that fell off. And I wish that was hinged, but it's not. That's really impossible to put on, especially as springy as it is. What do you do with the accessories? Well, here. We'll just toss those in there. Maybe you can't. Really? There we go. And you're pretty much on your way. You got a little radio antenna. It just looks more like an RC car than anything else. And that's essentially the Space Explorer Rover. And, you know, it's an interesting build. But how interesting? You know, do you really want to know? I know some people don't want me to tell the truth on things, but. Well, let's go ahead and let's dive right on the review with play value. We'll start with the positives first. And as you can see, it's playable. This is a playable model. You know, also you can remove your batteries and you can open up the top. You have full access into the interior, which is cool. The working rear door and the suspension. You also got this little area here with the aliens. Pretty cool. I mean, it's it's playable. You got plenty of accessories with this. Build quality, I'd say it's pretty good, except for this kind of sliding off. I didn't really have anything catastrophic fall apart when I was building this, so the build quality is pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is these plastic tires are hard plastic and not rubber. So these are, as you can see, this thing just slides all over the place. It doesn't really have a lot of traction on a smooth workbench but nonetheless though this should have been rubber I kind of wish they were you know, they have those air tires I'm really surprised they don't stick those in they're kind of squishy you know they probably would have worked a lot better on this build 
Now for build experience was another issue. At first it seemed okay. We were doing this. But I don't know. I just was starting to lose interest in this project. I think it's got to be the color scheme. It's obviously not me being tired or it being like 2 in the morning. But I just couldn't get into this project at all. It just didn't keep my interest. I, you know, I'm not really into space themes at all. But just for me, it just didn't quite work. As for city drop-in value, you can drop this directly into a city. As you can see, it's fully done. It's complete. You just need to just reach over, pick it up, and set it in. There's no modifications. But there is some good pieces in here for mock building as well. You could probably use the tires for something else. Or maybe the bricks for a completely different build. So there is some mock potential with the set. Or you can integrate it into an existing mock too. That would even work. Because like I said, it's a very complete build. My final score on this set, to be honest, is a 9. And it's not due to the fact that I was just losing interest with it. Uh, these tires. You know, I guess I get nitpicky on it. These aliens don't really attach in there really firmly. And the accessories, you got to pack them in here. Which is okay. But, I don't know, just... I just, I don't know about this thing, it just, it just, I understand what Lego's going for with this. It's meant to go uphill, but you can't go down here very, very well. And, but for me, a 9 is pretty good with this, and unfortunately it's not a collaborative build. Now, the minifigures in this piece here can be built separate from this, but it's a very unbalanced collaborative build. So, whoever you don't like, give them the big ship. Maybe they'll fall asleep or they throw it. But I think it was the color scheme that did it. So, I think if, I think a 9 is pretty fair for this model. But remember, it is playable. Everything's printed. All around, it is just a nice model for a space theme. For somebody like myself who's into city or suburban type builds, eh, this one just didn't cut it. Would this be something I would pick up? Not really. I would look at this going, yeah, I can think of something better. <laughs> I'm just being honest. It's it's just not my style of build. But for the most part, it's not too bad. Now for $34.99, this is essentially what you're getting here for 311 bricks. And I'm sure for a young one who's interested in this, it's really nice. It's a playable model. I'd say it's a bit on the high end for what we're getting here, but for me personally, it's uh, it's okay. It's just not my it's just not my thing. I just can't get into space. But a nine's a very fair sort for this. But I want to know what you guys and gals think of the Explorer Rover and the Alien Life Form. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is a nice set? Is this something you're going to run out and buy? I, I'm kind of curious. Let me know in the comments.